Hey English 1102 folks, this is a video covering a couple of the conflict and combat poems. Uh, this, this video is going to cover a photograph from September 11th by Wisla Samborska and Tuesday 9-11-01 by Lucille Clifton. I put these two poems together for an obvious reason. They are both about the September 11th tax. Um, and, and they're about them in, in slightly different ways. One of them is about the, an actual person who died, this very famous photo of this person who died jumping from the, one of the Twin Towers. Uh, Tuesday 9-11-01 by Lucille Clifton is about, is this much bigger sort of the world has changed kind of poem that is less focused on this one thing. Um, we'll start with photograph from September 11th since it's a little more complicated. Mainly it's a little more complicated because you, this is a, a poem about a specific photograph. And so you have to know that photograph and of what it's showing. And it is about a photograph that has come to be called The Falling Man. You see the photograph right here, um, the, the Falling Man photograph. You can see one of the Twin Towers in the background. Uh, this is a photograph of a person who... Uh, their build, the building was on fire and they knew they couldn't escape one of the Twin Towers. They, and, and so um, this guy, like a number of, do, you know, a few dozen other people, rather than being burned alive, just jumped to their death. They knew they were going to die. They knew there was no escape. And so they just jumped out of the buildings. They knew that they had a, a slightly better chance of surviving by jumping rather than just being burned alive in the, in the building that was on fire. Um, the subject of the image was trapped on the upper floors of the North Tower and either fell searching for safety or jumped to escape the fire and smoke. Um, you see right there. And there's a really long article, if you Google this, where they, over the years, we believe we know who the falling man was now, but that's not really even relevant to this, to this um, photo um, or to this poem. Um, because what this poem is more so about is these particular people and what this guy represents, what this one man represents. They jumped from the burning floors, one, two, a few more, higher, lower. You know, some people are higher up on the building, some people are lower. The photograph halted them in life. That's really the key idea in this poem is that the photograph stopped these people. And the, the people in these pictures, for the moment of this picture, they're still alive. We know they're, they're dead a few seconds later. But they're still alive, still living people in this photograph. And so what this photograph gives you is a living person. The photograph halted them in life and now keeps them above the earth toward the earth. They're, they haven't hit. They're still going toward the earth. We know death is coming for them. We know this, this great tragedy. Each is still complete with a particular face and blood well hidden. There's enough time for hair to come loose, for keys and coins to fall from pockets. You know, they're still having the, the bits and pieces of their life, their hair and their keys and stuff like that. They still ha have time to worry about that. They're still within the air's reach, within the compass of places that have just now opened. I can only do two things for them. Describe this flight and not add a last line. And so what he wants you to do and what he wants to take from this picture is that not that these people died, but before they died, they were alive and had a life. And what we can do to commemorate them is to recognize, is to not just recognize they died on September 11th in this awful way that they had to die by jumping out of this building, but that they were alive and that they had a life before this. Um, and, and so looking at this picture, don't think about their death. Think about their life and the life that was taken away and that it was a, a living, breathing person. Um, and so this poem is trying to get you to celebrate these people's lives, not just remember their awful deaths. Tuesday 9-11, 01 by Lucille Clifton. Thunder and lightning and our world is another place. No day will ever be the same, no blood untouched. That no day will ever be the same, our world is another place. That, the, that what happened on September 11th changed the world, and especially for um, people in the United States, the world will never be the same. The, the world totally changed on this day. But they know this storm in other wares, Israel, Ireland, Palestine. And if you know what she's talking about here, Israel and Ireland and Palestine had been dealing with terror attacks for decades and years and years. Um, in Israel, they deal with the Palestinians and the PLO, kind of, you know, constantly blowing stuff up and attacking people. Ireland has a long history of terrorism, especially in Northern Ireland and the IRA blowing stuff up and blowing people up. 
um, Palestine, same as Israel. You have this long history of Middle East conflict and violence. But God has blessed America, we see. And the God has blessed America right here is we didn't have this. We didn't worry about terrorist attacks, you know, until September 11th. We really didn't worry about, you know, this tragedy happening in our country. But, and God has blessed America to learn that no one is exempt. The world is one. All fear is one. All life, all death, all one. And so the second God has blessed America is this much darker, much sadder. Now people in the United States know that terror can touch anybody, that no one is exempt. The world is all one, all life, all death, all one. And so you get this sort of darker, we were blessed for a long time to not have to worry about this, but now we are blessed in a different way to know that this is an issue and a problem that affects everybody. Uh, so this poem both mourns September 11th, but also recognizes that the United States was unique and not having to worry about it, and now we've sort of joined the rest of the world in this really dark, unfortunate way. I hope that helps you understand these two poems. Like I said, the obvious connection between the two of them is they're about September 11th and the sort of conflict of September 11th. If you have questions about these, just let me know. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful to you.